Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. Pool season is just around the corner, which means a lot of you will be spending time outdoors, which means we better talk about our love-hate relationship with the sun. Let's face it, we need sunshine to keep healthy. Daylight helps regulate serotonin, you know, that feel-good hormone, and melatonin, which also regulates our internal clocks. Less sun means less of both, which often leads to fatigue and muscle weakness. Vitamin D is also responsible for keeping our teeth and bones healthy. A deficiency can lead to osteoporosis. The bad news, it has to be direct, strong sunlight that doesn't have the UVB rays filtered out by sunscreen. And that, my friends, is the bad part of the sun. You get too much of it and you risk getting skin cancer and melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. Which is why sunscreen is critical. Sunscreen protects against both UVA and UVB rays. UVA are harder to block. For example, an SPF 15 usually means the sunscreen will allow 1 15th of UV radiation to penetrate the barrier. Basically, you're getting 93% protection, which means when the SPF is 70, that number goes up about 98%, which explains why using sunscreen with extremely high SPF numbers is irrelevant. So all you need to know is that SPF 30 is probably your best bet in protecting your skin and getting some vitamin D. Now experts say it's not so much the number that's important, but how well and how often you apply during sun exposure. UV rays are greatest when the sun is at its highest in the sky, normally between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So if you're trying to get more sun exposure, be sure to avoid the most intense rays. Wearing sunscreen isn't just for summer months though, this is also true in the winter. Snow can reflect 85 to 90 percent of the sun's UV rays. Here's the trick, there isn't one. You don't need to do anything differently to get more vitamin D. In fact, whatever you do during the day, running errands, going to work, or going to cocktail hour, will get you enough vitamin D. More importantly, much of what we eat, like milk, cheese, eggs, tuna, beef, all of those contain enough vitamin D to support healthy bones. So you'll get plenty from your diet and be able to soak up the sun safely because you need vitamin D not cancer. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org, and don't forget while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.